Today I've been playing Guild Wars 2, and I am pleased to announce that I have unlocked the Jackal, and to celebrate that I purchased the fox-like skin that's available right now. Has a stripy tail, nice little ears. If you could have a fox that looked a little bit like a raccoon, I would imagine that this is what it would be. And I was quite happy to be able to get this mount. Looking forward to using it. So. I had been playing Albion Online a lot. It's kind of my daily game. And then... I thought to myself, you know, I don't know that I necessarily want to do that anymore. Because paying for a subscription all the time starts to get old. Especially when you realize it's a PvP game. Quite often it's a PvP game. It's not like it's that revolutionary. Yet I'm paying $12 or something a month to play this game and there's no way I could really say that it's really worth that amount of money compared to all the other games you can play that don't cost that much. I do like MMOs and I like the idea of being able to meet other people and interact with other people and go into a amazing world where some of the boundaries and limitations of real life can be forgotten about. Where you can go anywhere you want and do whatever you want. And the problem with a game like Albion Online is it's so competitive in an unfair, unbalanced sort of a way. Players get pitted against each other instead of being motivated to work together in a positive, fun, and lighthearted way. And one of the first things you probably notice if you're playing Albion Online versus Guild Wars 2 is what is or is not going on in the global chat. In Guild Wars, you'll see probably very little in the chat, or you'll see something reasonably friendly. Whereas in Albion Online, it's sort of like, I guess what you'd expect teenagers to be typing into AOL Instant Messenger back in the late 90s or something. Just a lot of vulgarity, profanity, and hostility sort of mashed together into a medley of Essentially, anything you can think of that is offensive is going to appear in that chat box in Albion Online, which is funny and fine, but it starts to get old after a while. Because it's nice to be able to have a mature, normal conversation with somebody. And Albion Online gives you the feeling that you wouldn't want to meet any of the people that are playing that game. Now, it's not true. There's quite a few good people that play the game. But, overall, the way the game represents itself is quite toxic. And I've thought, why would I do that to myself? Why would I... Why would I subject myself to this toxic game environment and pay 12 or 13 dollars a month to play the game just for the privilege of playing the game so i'm paying hundreds of dollars a year to play a game that is filled with people that aren't the kind of people i would even want to really get to know or meet in real life probably just doesn't really make sense and it all harkens to this idea that I'm probably more a sucker for habit than I am getting that much out of that game. 
because there's other games I could play that cost less and give me a better experience overall. Guild Wars 2 is an amazing MMO, not because it necessarily is the best at everything, but because it has so many mechanics that are in place designed to make player collaboration seamless and natural. If you do any achievement in the game, you can do it with whoever you want to do it with. You're never going to do anything in Guild Wars 2 that requires you to do it by yourself or requires you to go into an instance that someone else can't join you in. And that's really, really, really nice because it means that you can actually go up to somebody and say, what are you doing? Can I do it too? And it doesn't matter if it was their personal story or if they're just grinding or whatever it is. Anything, anything in the game that someone could do they can do with you and that's really nice and if one person in a group gets an achievement all of them get the achievement so there isn't any sense of negative competition it's all quite positive quite team centered and that's a really nice thing you go join a group of people maybe you don't even know them and yet it suddenly feels, even if you're not in a guild or anything, it still feels like you're part of a group. It feels, it feels pleasant to interact with people. If a player dies, if you die, it's quite normal for someone to come along and uh, revive you just because. And that's, that's really just nice. It's very nice to to be in a game where where people are friendly by default. And the game world isn't perfect, but it's definitely beautiful. And there's a lot of things that Guild Wars 2 does that probably there's no other game I've seen that really comes close, like being able to go underwater and just explore the depths and the map underneath the water is just as detailed and important as the map above the water that's pretty cool there's very few games that are really like that and guild wars is like that the fact that there's an action combat mode so if you want to um, you can play the game in more of a Less, of, less like a tab target game. I like that. There's a motivation to just grind in the open world. Everything's centered around the open world. So you don't have that sense of, you know, you're doing quests, you're doing dungeons, and there's not really any reason to do anything in the overland. It's uh, extremely uh, normal for people to generally do all of their activities in the open world. So you're going to run into all sorts of people just doing their thing. And uh, if you want to just explore, that's normal. That's kind of what the game is all about. It's true. It doesn't have a simulated economy that's the same as Albion Online. It's true. Albion Online is amazing in that way. But... It does have a player-driven market where you can sell all the different things that you acquire. And if you want to play the markets, flip things and stuff like that, it, it does have that. So maybe you're kind of splitting hairs in a way if you, if you think about a game like Albion Online's um, player-driven economy and you compare it to a game like Guild Wars 2. They are different. But in terms of everyday activity, if you just want to log in and grind for a little while and sell your things on the market and log off, I don't know that it's really that different. It's nice to be part of a game world that has dedicated lore where you know that all the different things in the game have a, have a purpose in the story of the game world and it's not just sort of purely made for the players to just run around in 
it's it really is part of a story that some people have put some actual effort into creating lore for. I do like that. Anyway, the purpose of this channel is right now, I guess, just to find itself, you know. Because I, I think there's a lot of people that already are doing amazing things when it comes to gaming channels. So I don't know that I really want to try to beat that. I think there's plenty of amazing content creators that already have that one in the bag. What I want to do is share things that inspire me. So if I'm doing something that I enjoy, I want to share it with other people so they can kind of get a feel for what's... Uh, going on with me and I want to just have a nice safe space where I can talk about things that are on my mind that I think are worth talking about or that maybe would help somebody and there's value in just talking about life and if I was just going to talk about life purely for its own sake, that would seem a little bit dry without something to serve as a backdrop. And that's where playing a kind of a passive game like this seems like a good, a good way to maybe talk about maybe things that aren't related to gaming but also have something kind of more light that's also content to focus on in the spaces in between. And it's more more of a focus is more on personality and and uh, inspiration and talks about life and things, not really about gaming. But I want it to be a gaming channel because it's just more approachable that way. And you ever you ever think about how people will go play golf? Like, I guess important people will go play golf <laughs> together. And it's kind of like a thing. They go out to the golf club and they talk about important things and have some kind of a summit or something. And they're just out on the green, putting balls around, and somehow the act of being out there doing something that's a game, something that's casual, something that's a little bit active is beneficial versus sitting in a boardroom somewhere with bottles of water and a conference room phone there on the table it's just nicer to be in the outdoors with something else to focus on passively and then you also are talking about something that's not related to that that's important and it's, it's just nice it's nice to combine those things i think um, and uh so that's kind of kind of what i'm shooting for with this channel and uh, we will see. We will see how it all how it all goes. You know, at the beginning, my focus was just on trying to at least make sure that I did make a video every day. And I've kind of kind of gotten used to that. Um, yeah, let's see. I don't know what's going on there. Well, anyway, <clears throat> sometimes in life you don't know necessarily what to say, but you can turn on a familiar game and you can spend a little while chasing digital fish.
And in that moment, you don't necessarily need to know what you make of life entirely. All you're really focused on is what you're doing right now. I need to figure out how to level up my uh, my fishing ability. I guess just by continuing to fish. So it gets easier to catch fish. The more fishing power you have, the bigger the little bar is. So catching fish becomes significantly easier when you when you level that up. Anyway, I think. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be Guild Wars 2 that takes the spot of Albion Online for the next little while. And we are going to see how that goes. We'll spend some time running around in the open world of Tyria, exploring the sites that it has to offer while we talk about things that are on my mind and things going on in life that seem like they're worth sharing. Thank you very much for watching, and I do hope that life is treating you well. Till next time, goodbye.